Hello, I'm Hans van der Kwast from IHE Delft Institute for Water Education. In a previous video I showed how to delineate catchments and streams from DEMs. Sometimes, however, the DEM tiles contain no data pixels. These are called voids. In this video I'm going to show how to deal with voids. So here you see a group of pixels that contain no data. And we need to interpolate those areas with the information around. Voids, uh, they exist because of uh, problems with the acquisition of the DEM. In this high mountainous areas, probably these are areas with uh, snow or where uh, there's obstruction from uh, steep mountain slopes. It is easy to see that this tile has a lot of voids because uh, we see the white background from the map canvas and the, the gray scale. Sometimes it's more difficult and you need to, uh, to check if there are voids. So for the procedure of uh, catchment delineation, we are first going to make a, a mosaic of these two tiles. We'll do that using a virtual raster, because it's a temporary file which is not really uh, used after uh, the mosaicing. Uncheck this box so it will be a merge in the uh, of the tiles and they will not be put uh, on top of each other. Okay, now we have the mosaic. I remove the previous tiles. What I'm going to do is to reproject it to a projection that we use in this project. So we can use raster, projections, warp. So here have the mosaic. We keep the source as it is because that's read from the file and the target. For the target in this area we use 32719. We keep the resampling at nearest neighbor because we want the pixels as pure as possible after the reprojection. And then I save it. Here make sure you save it to a TIFF file. Close it. Remove the other one. Okay. So now it's uh, reprojected. I'll change also the projection of the project. And now I'm going to interpolate the voids. If you look for fill, you see the fill sinks algorithms, but there's also the fill no data function here under GDAL. We use the reprojected DEM. We keep the defaults in the first try. If that doesn't work, you can always play around with the values. But in this case, it works with these settings. Save it as a TIFF, DEM void filled. And I run it. And now we see the voids are cleaned up. So I remove the one that we don't need. And now we can fill the sinks using the Wang and Liu algorithm, which is mostly used. And I don't need the other ones now. Run. Okay, now the DM is filled, which means that we removed the uh, depressions and all the water flows out to the outlet. Then uh, we can uh, calculate the channels and the catchments in the same procedure as uh, described in the other video. <laughs> 